So this is a tweet from Gul Krubigim Tokuzivonova and isn't it a pure form of discrimination? How can such a man work in the official at the rate Fide underscore chess broadcast of such an important women's event? So what we are seeing here is something very awful and what's that? Um, uh, Mac G. Is a GM norm possible for Zhu in this event? She is not GM Grandmaster. No, she is actually not even international master. I believe she I mean, is. she is woman Grandmaster or what? She is woman Grandmaster, yeah. Why she wants to be like main Grandmaster in this case? <laughs> so to answer the question, it must be possible, yeah? I guess there are enough, what, do they need three Grandmaster opponents, right? Well, it's possible basically to make a GM. main uh, norm in the women tournament. Of course, why not? Hmm? I don't know. I mean, for instance, for instance, why not? Why women can play with men and men cannot play with women? It's also why not? Question for another day. <laughs> yeah? It would be like you know, today everyone for parity. Yeah. <laughs> but you cannot. I mean, you're saying you know, no. chess is maybe not not for women. Then you have to to pick either. I didn't say it say. openly. I didn't say it openly. No? Sorry, in private, in uh, private conversation. I thought you said it on... I mean, no. okay, you said that Goryachkina is playing like a man, yeah? It's also but, not... Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So Goryachkina, she played in, in Soviet Union, in, in Russia, sorry, super final. Mm. Small minus she made, but it was very strong tournament. Yeah, but that... And she also had like 2600 plus recently rating. Yeah, but what does that have to do with playing like a man? Only men can play well? No, no, she, but she's playing in style, like positional style. Like a very strong end game, so mm. it's. Uh, but okay, uh, I also I always was curious why women can play among men, but men cannot play with women in women tournament. Did this is interesting you have question. To ask yeah, interesting else, question. Yeah. Someone else than me. Yeah, I'm not asking. Basically, it's a rhetorical question. Let's say. <laughs> we, today we are speaking on chess-related topics. Little, yes. not. <laughs> Because one game less. Yes. One game so less. So we have a little bit more time. Yeah? And we should spend some time, yeah, somehow. No. C5 at least interesting move. So this is something very ridiculous happening in the commentary. And then after this tweet, there were many varieties of tweets that happened. And it is really, really shocking. Really shocking. We don't expect this. We don't expect this to happen at. So BBC News uh, has said that Ilya Ismirin, the Grandmaster Ilya Ismirin, chess commentator, sagged for the sexist remark during the match, and. What BBC has said is on the board here, this is from BBC.com news. A chess commentator has been sacked by the International Chess Federation of, for making sexist comments. Ilya Ismirin was broadcasting live during the ninth round of the Women's Grand Prix on Tuesday. And the Israeli Grandmaster admitted on air he had said chess is maybe not for women and also seemingly praised the woman for playing like a man and the federation FIDE apologized and called Mr. Ismirin's comments offensive and embarrassing and then there were a series of women grandmaster initially speaking about one of the competitors which is separate lower title to that of grandmaster and then it all goes on and then it, Many people commented, tweeted, and finally he has been sacked, which is actually not good. So we are sorry to Fian, na still Anthony, that you have to suffer that. And it is a remarkable uh, in the journey of chess that such a strong decision by Fide has been taken. And maybe it's not like that you cannot speak lightly something which is not good. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's all for today.